games. That's what happened. Sabonis is like, hey, playoffs happened. I don't know. I don't know. First, it was like it's just basketball. Then he was like, well, you know, I can't remember. My memory's blurry. Then you always got to have that character. Everybody has this character in the fight. Who knows both sides? Who's who's like trying to be Switzerland up in here? Right. You know, this is my player right now. I'm coaching him now, but this dude won me championships. I ain't trying to get in the middle of it. So Mike Brown is like, well, you know, I ain't really see it. Come on, Mike. <laughs> you ain't see it. You ain't see it. I'm lying. You saw it enough. The whole arena, the whole arena saw it. Everybody. Come on, bro. You ain't, you ain't serious. see it. Come on. So what, like, Rita, you saw it. What is your takeaway from the stomp heard around Northern California? So uh, I guess this is a stomp gate of sorts, right? Uh, and so two things can be true, right? Uh, so don't just initiated the contact and grabbed him. And that's obvious, right? We've seen it numerous uh, angles. And that his reaction, meaning Draymond's, was a little egregious. Now, do I consider it to be dirty? Yes, I do. Is that something that I would have done? Yes, I would have. So my <laughs> thing is that, hey, listen, I, the reaction was a, a bit much, but I'm not doing that if you're not grabbing me to begin with, right? Well, well, Draymond, I don't know. We, we know how Draymond can sometimes get down, but in this case, he was not the initiator of the contact. He was just the one that ended it all, right? So I'm with Shaq, because Shaq said something similar. And my thing is, is that sometimes it gotta get dirty. If you want to keep grabbing my ankle and not letting me go so I can move down the field, I got to do what I got to do to get you off of me. Was it right? No, but sometimes in the heat of the battle, that's what happens. So, you know, you mentioned on your feed about a suspension or him not getting suspended. I don't see how you can really try to do a suspension. I think that the ejection is fair, but like, let's move on from that, right? It was it was not him that initiated it. He just was the one that, you know, said get up off me and moved on. So I think that the punishment was fits the crime in the sense that Draymond was not the person that started this situation. Right. I think that Draymond should play the next game because this is playoffs okay so so don't can sit here and say well this is playoffs and then you can do we do this and do that only to retract his words but the first thing that he said was absolutely true look sometimes you got to do what you got to do and sometimes that's what it is so for them to if they suspend him to me that's the that that just that i don't see i don't see that the, the the crime was worth that type of punishment not in this situation this particular time well what we said not in this situation no i mean he did stomp on my man and it was a stomp too and look and, and, and as somebody who and i'm with you rita hey you gotta do what you gotta do it's the playoffs we fighting for this thing i might have to stop on you i might have to and, uh, and then I mean, I'll apologize hey, later. You gotta get I'll up apologize off. later. Hey, you know, we all think that we're nice people. Maybe we're not as nice as we think we are. Oh, <laughs> you out there too listening. You're not as nice as you think you are when you're under pressure. I realize that about myself. You realize that. Would I have done it? Probably. Probably. But Draymond, as somebody who says I would have done it, Draymond's a little disingenuous when he says, yeah. hey, listen, I can only stretch so far. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, my my foot has to land somewhere. Yeah, your foot got to land somewhere. You ain't got to actively stop like you're trying to put out a roach or something. You ain't got to stomp on the man's chest like that. I you mean, did he was that. Real, he was real. Yeah. Like, now, come on now, brother. You could have you could have just said anything else except that you didn't even try to move your leg anywhere else except for on that man's chest it's that's like, why people yeah. want you to be suspended the the what you said afterward was way more egregious than what you actually <laughs> did because clearly you weren't even making an attempt to, to, to do something different here and and look i think a lot of people could relate and be like look i i felt some type of way if this happened two different days in two different games, I was tired of it, and I made you know I did yeah, something that you know, was jacked up. All right, cool. But for you to try to act like there was no other place that your foot could land, 
to me is just as bad as what you did because we all saw it, okay? And you know that right. you could have moved your foot anywhere else. You just chose not to. If you were at least going to do something like that, Holly, you got to own it. That's my whole thing. If you're going to do That's something, right. you just got to back that sucker up. You but, just gotta you know, I, he was in I can way. understand why... I can kind of understand why he won't own it. Uh, there's a there's a middle ground okay, of fair. not not going not going to the ridiculous of hey my foot had to go somewhere and not saying it's my fault because you go it's my fault Adam Silver exactly. like thank you very much thank yep. you very much okay okay uh, you said it uh, you, we didn't have to do an investigation you incriminated yourself thank you all right now uh, here we go uh, who's this Nat Nat Fluential can you put that back up. Uh, I think I've heard of her. Uh, very, very <laughs> active on social media. Uh, another angle. Look, I love when we get all caps. Sabone is clearly holding Draymond's ankle foot. So then all of a sudden, everyone's eyesight is failing them. Now, we know he held his ankle. We know that because he got a technical for it. He yeah. did it. He held his ankle. But the reason it wasn't a double technical because after one guy held the other one's ankle the other dude stomped on him and then kind of celebrated you know went around like <laughs> egging on the fans and standing on tables and all this stuff but look i, I gotta say this i gotta say this okay uh uh okay rita i have great respect for the golden state warriors I have told people many times, I'm just going gonna, gonna to just put my credentials out there first. I'm going to put my credentials out there of how I've been watching basketball. And you know, I can name every champion in the history of the league. Okay. I love this game. I love champions, uh, champions uh, and, and championship teams that play at the highest level. I respect them. I live in a town that where, where 17 championship banners hang above a parquet floor yet, yet. The best team I've seen in my lifetime. Take your pick. Golden State Warriors with Kevin Durant version one. Yeah. Golden State Warriors with Kevin Durant version two. Best basketball I've ever seen. Sorry, 86 Celtics. Sorry, 96 Bulls. Sorry, 87 Pistons. Vinny's coming on. Sorry, Detroit. Always got to get in there. Detroit. Sorry, back to back Detroit. Bad boy Pistons. Best basketball I've ever seen. Yet. These dudes. Kill me. These dudes kill me. Please don't suspend Draymond Rita. Why? Because the Warriors are greedy champions. They won't just take their four and say, we got four. Isn't that great? <laughs> they want to tell you, well, listen, if Draymond hadn't been suspended against Cleveland, we would have beat them. Hey, look, if Clay hadn't been hurt or if, if KD hadn't got hurt against the Raptors, we would have beat them. Oh, oh, Steph got hurt. Oh, we'd have another one. Oh, so the bubble. You're, oh, you're, this. You, you're an advocate of yeah, not right. having any excuses. Is that how I'm understanding? Right, right, that? right, right. Okay. I, I don't want to hear them anymore. They're so arrogant. They are. Michael's right yesterday. Natalie, you know it. They're arrogant. Can't nobody beat us. Can't nobody beat us. Hey, if we got all our guys. Can't nobody beat us. Oh, we down two zip, oh two. It don't matter, cause we champions. They, like, you can't say anything to them. They always got an excuse for when they lose. So Adam Silver, damn it, I appeal to you. I appeal to you and your brethren and sistren in the highest offices in New York City. Do not dare suspend Draymond Green. I don't want to hear. Any more excuses? We would have beat Sacramento if they hadn't messed with Draymond. No, I want I want the Warriors to have no excuses. As a matter of fact, if it's possible, can 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 Mitch Richmond? Can we do some low key time travel? Can I can can I give you Mitch Richmond in his prime coming off the bench? You can have Bernard King, Chris Webber can come back. I want you to have all oh, the wow. weapons oh, that you can oh. I, bring them all back. You can have them. World be free when he was with the Warriors with that funny shot. I want you to bring them all back. So I don't want to, I don't have to hear right. the excuses from the Warriors because, you know, truth be told, Rita, last thing I'll say on this, truth be told, they're getting their asses kicked. 
And well, I mean, yes, they are. And that's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing, they right? Are. Like, we, we knew that this was going to be an issue for them because they already don't play well on the road. And now that they've done nothing but continue the trend that we've seen from them all season, right? My thing is this, too, though, Mike. Wasn't Silver at the game last night? <laughs> if, correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like he was there. Was he there? I feel like... I feel there? like he might spend Draymond. If he, I feel like he was at that game last night. I could be wrong. But if he was there, I feel like he might get suspended just off of GP, just of him acting like an ass in front of him, in front of company. Okay? You acting like that. He in was front there. Of You're right. No, he no, was no, there. Man, Commissioner no, was there. You, you got better manners than that. But yeah, yeah I mean, listen, on, on the first game, I mean, the guards were just getting, I mean, they, they just were getting worked. And obviously the score, you know, obviously it supported that. And, and and then once again, you know, obviously everything happened last night and it just turned to a downward spiral. But I, I, I'm with you. I don't, I need Draymond to be there because whatever happens, you want them to be at full speed. You want a full be at their best. You don't want them to say, this is what happened. But what will be, what will happen if they lose? Mike, is that people are going to say, okay, but this is oh, what we, we saw all oh, year, here we go. and this oh, is oh, what we were worried we about, so nothing changed. Okay. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Look at this up on the screen. Those watching Peacock TV, you can see it. You're listening on Sirius XM Channel 85. You don't see this great tweet from Mark Spears. Uh, uh, Spears says, Warrior star Draymond Green. Warrior star? Come on, Mark. Anyway, Warrior star Draymond Green asked for an x-ray on his right ankle after the game two loss to the host Kings, <laughs> after feeling soreness, source confirmed to Anscape at ESPN. Source adds Green believes the injury came when King star DeMontis Sabonis grabbed his ankle before the stop. Okay, now look, look, look. What you have here, you have multiple <laughs> levels of shade going on. You got multiple levels. So for those of you in law, there's a suit. And then there's a counter suit. Yep. Okay, somebody coming at you. Oh, oh, for real? You taking me to court? You gonna have papers on me? I got papers on you. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna call my own attorney. I'm gonna get papers on you. I'm not gonna <laughs> let, I'm not gonna let you be the victim. I'm That's gonna right. be the victim too. That's I ain't one. Even mad two. At that though. Two, two. It's kind of an excuse. It's kind of an excuse setting it up. Look, if you don't play well, if he's not suspended for game three. Doesn't play well in game three. Uh, Draymond, what happened out there? You know, uh, I was, hey, listen, I gave him my best. You know, I was fighting out there, but you know, my my ankle, because uh, Sabonis was grabbing my ankle. Yeah. He grabbed it in two straight games. And, uh, you know, I'm just not, I'm not quite myself. I'm not quite I'm myself. Not feel, I'm not feeling it. And listen, here's the thing, too. Here's listen, the thing I, too I, I, I'm going to say this. Hey, I, I, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to say this okay. real quick, Rita. I used to go to a church where they would stretch their hands towards you and they're praying for you. They stretch their hands for you and they say, hey, you know, pray for this brother as he goes for a job interview. You know, you got it, you got it, there it is. Stretch your hands, stretch your hands toward him. I'm gonna stretch my hands toward Draymond's ankle, bruh. I want, I'm calling for a healing right now on your ankle. I want you to play. I want you to play 48 minutes. If it goes to OT, I want you to play 53, double OT, 58. I don't care. No more excuses because when the Warriors go down, oh, when and Natalie, is... they going down. Oh, oh so oh, this Natalie, is a they going down. You're, you're claiming this. Uh, it, it's you, you know why this, they're, they're, you know why this may they're not the better team. You know why this they're may happen. The that's, that's very, that's a, at this moment, they're not. And here, this is why, too, this is interesting, too, because I don't believe the Warriors have ever started 0 2 in the playoffs. They haven't. Like, First time. Okay. First time since oh, 07, different era. Ever. So now they're against different the ropes. Era. Now they're on defense, right? And I'm curious to know, how do you rebound? And now everybody, you're used to being the, the guys on offense. You're used to being the hunted. And now you're the ones that have to switch that around. So I'm curious to know how you rebound from something like that. This has never happened to you before. How are you able to deal with that? And, I, and, and because it's never happened, we don't know. And the fact that, you know, if they got to win, they got to win four games, which means they have to go back to Sacramento. Back. That's right. And we know how that's worked out no, so Rita, far. I'm going to say thank God for the remote workplace. I don't have to see Natalie at the next cubicle. Thank God. <laughs> I leave Nat alone. All right. All right. So listen, good stuff here. 
Vinny Goodwill, our guy from down the hall. He's going to join us next on Brother from Another to talk about the stomping. Hey, thank you for watching Brother from Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.